Okay, okay, so here we are today at How to Rap Radio Volume 2, Episode 2. And um, as I mentioned before, for anybody who's new to this, or this is uh, a new channel, new company to you, we are How to Rap. We are a company specializing in rap coaching. We like to think of ourselves as the first rap coaching company ever invented so we specialize in teaching you how to rap better, how to get your skills up. Just in general, take your skills from the guy or girl maybe in your apartment and your parents' basement or just waiting for your shot and actually get those skills up. You can check us out at howtorapdrew.com. Um, so today we're going to talk about two things that came up that I thought were of note and pretty interesting. First, of course, being Kanye West's leak rough draft of a single. I don't know what it is, but I know that usually Kanye takes his time with his music. So if it is um, something that he's recorded and put time in, which it sounds like it is based on the rough draft, it probably will come out in some form, some epic, crazy 70 horn symphony level shit at some point. And being how to rap and being sort of a company designed to talk about the intricacies of how to MC and develop your skills. We're going to talk about this a little bit for your own skills and what you can take from it, specifically around the chorus and um, some basic ideas on songwriting, uh, Kanye West being one of the best songwriters in rap, I personally believe, although uh, we will try to avoid too many opinions because this isn't like an opinion radio show. This isn't about what I like and what I dislike. This is about how to help you get your skills up. The second thing we'll talk about is uh, Sway Calloway, the real Sway, Sway Uni Sway's Universe, the legendary DJ and interviewer. Um, great guy. Uh, as I always like to say, my ego is thoroughly validated because he follows me on Instagram, even though he has no idea who I am. Um, he posted a picture today discussing this week's billboard in which on the album charts, rap has absolutely zero albums in the top 40 sales-wise in the Billboard. So we're going to talk a little bit about album sales and how to get along with that. Again, um, if you're new to us, just check us out, howtorapdrew.com, the world's first and most premier rap coaching company. Yeah, let's see if we can shameless plug some more and get much more uh, radio sounding with each uh, attempt at this thing, but uh, yeah, I'm Drew, Drew Marcy, the rap guy. Anyway, so Kanye West, all day. That's the name of this single He's that's leaked or whatever it's going to be, this song. Um, I just had to sort of search the internet um, for a rough copy. A lot of people are doing remakes, and I don't even know if the version I heard was a remake, but it was pretty clearly Kanye. It was clearly a song, you know, it's clearly constructed. So uh, what can we take from this and be sure to check it out. I don't know if it's exactly like illegal or fucked up to go find out, but I, I didn't download the shit. So just for the record, don't come after me, FCC. Like, I just heard it. Blame the guy who posted it so I could hear it. But I ain't download it. I ain't promoting none of that kind of shit. You know, I, I keep it cool. But um, what I, the first thing you should notice about this from a how to rap perspective is uh, not reinventing the wheel. Kanye West is very good at being straightforward. All day is one of the most cliche, common expressions in rap. Uh, you use it when you're on the ball court, you know, you're hitting threes, you get a hot streak all day, baby. It's what I do. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you could, I don't know, maybe you're like a chef and you Instagram a picture of a really good meal and you're just like, hashtag all day. You know, so... Kanye West is at the height of his skills. You know, he's one of the biggest MCs, if not the biggest rapper on the planet right now. And I'm sure he'll remind you of that as much as he can. Um, and he's still using common expressions that we we all know. So when I say things like, don't reinvent the wheel, what I mean is from your songs, feel free to use expressions that people say every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with a song called All Day, Nick. You know, that's kind of how the song goes. It's not that particularly dynamic, but he takes it. One of Kanye West's biggest songs ever, Stronger. That which does not kill me can only make me stronger is one of the most common expressions. But he's willing to use it, put it out there, 
and not reinvent the wheel. Just put, you need a chorus. If you're struggling with choruses and you're listening to me right now, like you listen to a song like this and you have no excuse. Come on. You know what I mean? It's like if Kanye West, the biggest motherfucker around, mired in controversy, is just like, okay, this song is called All Day. All Day, nigga. And I'm going to end almost every bar with nigga. You know, another common thing. And it's tight. You know, I personally think it's pretty good. There's an opinion, but I liked it. But more more to the point of how to help you is that you should not shy away from common expressions all day. This is what we doing. This is how we do. Remember that song, 50 Cent and Game? Um, this is what I do all day. Zero to 100. Whatever. You know, to me, it's like zero to 100 is just zero to 60 adjusted to 100. Because there's that old expression, right? Oh, he went from zero to 60 really quick. What's that, like getting angry quick or something? So, you know, like take from Kanye. You know, check out this song and really sit down and be like, yeah, this is really simple. It's easy to remember very quickly. I've only heard the song twice in passing, and I'm already doing this breakdown of it, and I remember all day, nickel, da 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 You know, so it's memorable, it's catchy. So all you rappers out there, as you're developing your skill, you know, take from this. Take from the idea that I can use an extremely common expression as long as I do it with the right beat and the right kind of voice. You know, and that's the other thing you can take from this song. Notice how he's using his voice to make the, the chorus more identifiable. You could do this song like, all day, nigga. This is what most new rappers do. They just rap as if they're talking. So they get in the booth and then their voice is like, okay, the chorus goes all day, nigga. All day, Nick. All day, Nick. Okay, that's a good take. I'm out the booth. You know, rather than Kanye or the, the greats, the, the, the major heavyweights, all day, Nick. Da, 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 da. I'm right here, like excited. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're going to have a rather cliche or well known chorus, you got to be sure to make sure your, your, your delivery, your in, that, that does not kill me because only make me stronger. Like, you notice how he really uses his voice to make it a dynamic and excitable thing, even if the expression or the choruses, or sorry, the, 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 the lyrics themselves are pretty simple and straightforward. So, you know, I know that we the new slaves, like Kanye is a very good rapper to study for. I can take a common expression or a basic expression, but make it that shit cray. It's only three words. You know what I'm saying? So wh why is he making it so memorable? Well, it's his intonation would be the sort of academic way of saying it. But the other way you could say it is, you know, being live. Just turn up. You know what I'm saying? Like take an expression all day, put it to a nice beat, and turn up with your voice. Don't just deliver it like all day, all day. You know, that's borderline creepy. If we're really thinking about, I mean, like, think about it like talking to a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go up to a, a chick you're trying to get at, and you're just like, hey, yo, I'm Drew. I want to talk to you. You know, that's creepy. So why wouldn't it be creepy on the mic if you got a song about talking how you this shit all day? This is what I do. Or I, that one don't kill me, make me stronger. Or I'm a new slave or whatever. But you deliver it really like I'm a new slave, man. It's tough. The CCA, fuck your Hampton house. You see the difference? You know what I'm saying? So uh, a great thing to study from Kanye in general, but for this song specifically, simple, simple concept, delivery turned up, in, engaged, live, alive, you know, I'm in it, and then not overthinking it. Okay, all day nigga is the chorus. Also look to Tupac for a great example of a rapper who does the same thing. Very simple, you know, like his concepts, a lot of his songs are literally just boom. Like, you know, um, I'm troublesome. La, 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 la. Hail Mary. It's just phrases. But the way he delivers, delivers it is just really dynamic. So those are the main things you want to get out of all day. I think it's it's going to be an interesting to see how this song develops. Um, it's, it's definitely more like classic rap or these classic thousands rap, more classic Kanye than... I might have expected after Jesus or after like all the shit that in the media he's kind of been going on re recently, but I, I can definitely see where 
He's taking it. Like, let me remind you, motherfucker. It's like, I am still a huge rap titan. I'm going to make a rap song, motherfucker. You know, it seems like that kind of vibe. Um, secondly, along with rap, um, you know, Sway asked a good question today. He was like, nobody in the top 40 album sales uh, are rappers. You know, is that because motherfuckers are giving free, too much free music? He, he didn't say it in those terms, but he's like, is there too much free music? You know, is the game, what's up with the game? Not the rapper, but like the actual music rap industry. Um, you know, I thought it was a provocative question, so I figured I'd answer it, so answer it on my own forum, which is here at How to Rap, world's first rap coaching crazy shenanigan pandonium, pandemonium, yeah, whatever. Um, so I figured I'd answer um, here. And, you know, for you guys, because I'm keeping it to the theme of how to help y'all and what can we learn, you know, okay, so right now there may not be anybody in the top album sales on Billboard, but as we all know, you know, Billboard isn't necessarily a sign of success or being where you want to be as it used to be because of the nature of um, internet piracy and all that kind of stuff and because of the way that people interact with music now, where you might get an album from somebody else, you might pirate it, you might listen to it on YouTube. I just listened to a very well-known rapper's album today that just came out on YouTube. I'm not saying I won't buy it, I just, that was the quickest way I thought of. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So, number one, there's no reason to really be distressed. Um, it doesn't, it's not an indication that rap isn't still popping. And it's certainly not an indication that you as a new rapper can't be everything you want to be, like the American Army, you know, just because these this particular metric or this particular um, scale um, of success has changed for rap. Um, I mean, just straight up, rap fans just listen to music differently than country fans or, you know, whoever has the big album right now. I don't I don't I don't really know that well. Um, who's in the top 40 or I know Taylor Swift dropped an album. I'm sure her, her peep, I saw her album. The reason I know that is because it's in Starbucks. Okay. So there you go. But lo and behold, T.I.'s paperwork, which just came out recently or Hood Billionaire by Rick Ross isn't in Starbucks. So maybe people are buying less of that there, but it doesn't mean that T.I. or Ross or whoever isn't really big still. Now, um, going on. There are several albums that came out this year that I consider very good with rappers that are living a good life. The best example, uh, one example being YG, for example, who blew up this year. Um, he's a little bit of an exception to you or the person who's probably listening to me because you're probably a little bit newer. Um, and YG has had respect in L.A. out here. That's where I live um, for a while. He's kind of got the streets on his side. Um not incidentally, he's aligned with one of the best and biggest producers right now, DJ Mustard. So he is a little bit more of a sort of skilled, marketed, promoted artist. But his album is tight. You know what I'm saying? I damn near call it a classic. My Crazy Life. Go listen to it if you haven't heard it already. It's great. But <clears throat> YG's an example of a rapper that you, whoever you're listening, could become still, even if there's not any rap on the top 40. And by the way, the guy's doing pretty well for himself. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I've seen him on tour. I saw him on Sway, Sway of all people a couple of days ago. He was on Breakfast Club. He's, you know, he's got a name for himself in L.A. They love him. You know what I'm saying? He basically runs this city along with Kendrick and all them motherfuckers. So if if you're looking at that that uh, album sales and, oh, man, Rav ain't got no album sales on the billboard. It's like, yeah, but would you want to be YG right now? Probably. He's got the adoration. He's got a classic album for the most part. He's got probably a tour going on. He's on every radio show that matters. You know, so just think about it. Even a better example would be Logic from one of my home states, uh, Maryland. Logic from Maryland. Uh, another rapper that dropped just a fucking great album, Under Pressure. Man, that, that album really took me back. You know what I'm saying? It really has the energy of... The classic Outcast, the classic Tribe Called Quest albums, and he and he did that on purpose. He's mentioned, but Logic's about to announce a world tour tomorrow. He said it on his like Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Would you want to be Logic? Okay, <laughs> he exists. So therefore, from your perspective, you know it really doesn't matter 
if there's not a rap album in the top 40 on a particular Billboard ch chart, there's still evidence of you can do this. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like one of my mottos. And um, so, you know, all that I ask of you is to focus on your opportunities rather than, you know, sit back on your setbacks. Notice the guys that have come up this year. Um, you know, on the, other, on the other hand, there's also some OGs that dropped some pretty good albums this year. Uh, specifically T.I.'s Paperwork. I thought that was a really solid album. Um, and so rap is alive and kicking. And of course, as some people have mentioned, I think in the Sway Instagram, um, is that a lot of the big, big, big rappers are about to come out with albums. So you've seen uh, Kendrick is on a promotion thing and he's about to drop an album. Uh, J. Cole should be dropping an album even before the end of the year, I think. What's it called? 2014 Hills Forest Hills Drive? Is that... Um, so that looks like, I mean, that dude doesn't really drop bad albums <laughs> straight up. So that's something to look forward to. Drake, of course, has, um, you know, views from the six coming out and, uh, Kanye, as we've talked about earlier today. So, I mean, like, think about it this way, you know, album sales. Yes, you should care. But the point is whether you're a newer MC with like a new buzz, like a logic or a YG, you still have it. You can still take over the world because those dudes are. Um, if you're an OG, you're still dropping pretty solid albums like the TIs of the world. And if you're like the main dudes of this generation, you're doing well, too. So, you know, that's not to shit on Billboard or anything like that. But let's just think. Let's just think for a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, think of all the rappers that are doing well that we would all, you know, admire or we do admire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and all the people I listed. So uh, that's that's about it for the day, you know, covering again Kanye West all day, covering uh, album sales. You know, if you want to what to take away from this particular radio episode, um, as far as songwriting, don't be afraid to just go, you know, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Find a phrase, deliver it with some fucking balls, you know, turn up. Yes. All day, nigga. Yeah, that's the chorus. Not all day, man. You know what I mean? Not like, come on, say it with your chest. <laughs> um, then also to take away, you know, that you can be at the height of your success and still find a, a simple phrase that defines what you're going through, no matter what you're doing. And on the other side, album sales. You know, Billboard isn't what it used to be. You don't have to trip so much about your album sales or your like, I don't know, mixtape, that piff views or whatever you're doing. Focus more on the possibilities you have. You can become the next Logic. You can become the next YG. You can silently drop, which will probably be a, be a very good album, like a J. Cole. And of course, the people that you may, might admire are still going, you know, ham as fuck as far as the Kendricks, the Drakes, whoever. So all is well with the world. You know, season's greetings, feeling good. It's a jolly season, pause, you know. I'm Drew Marcy. Rap coach extraordinaire, fan of your music, fan of the art, the culture. Check us out at howtorapdrew.com. Get in touch. Join the exclusive class. Do what you want. Do what you must. Do what you need to do, brother. Love you all. Peace.